In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. We offer our Mass this morning in prayer for all those who work in our supermarkets and in our food stores and all involved in the food supply chain. Let us begin by calling to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those who walk in darkness and the shadow of death. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by your pens, and in your kindness grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the prophecy of Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, is it true that you do not serve my gods and that you refuse to worship the golden statue I have erected? When you hear the sound of horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, bagpipe, or any other instrument, are you prepared to prostrate yourselves and worship the statue I have made? If you refuse to worship it, you must be thrown straight away into the burning, fiery furnace. And where is the God who could save you from my power? Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego replied to King Nebuchadnezzar, Your question hardly requires an answer. If our God, the one we serve, is able to save us from the burning, fiery furnace and from your power, O King, he will save us. And even if he does not, then you must know, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the statue you have erected. These words infuriated King Nebuchadnezzar. His expression was very different now as he looked at Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. He gave orders for the furnace to be made seven times hotter than usual and commanded certain stalwarts from his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and throw them into the burning, fiery furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar sprang to his feet in amazement. He said to his advisers, Did we not have these three men thrown bound into the fire? They replied, Certainly, O king. But he went on, I can see four men walking about freely in the heart of the fire without coming to any harm. And the fourth looks like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. He has sent his angel to rescue his servants, who, putting their trust in him, defied the order of the king and preferred to forfeit their bodies rather than serve or worship any god but their own. This is the word of the Lord. The response to the canticle, to you glory and praise for evermore, to you glory and praise for evermore. You are blessed, Lord God of our fathers, Blessed your glorious holy name. To you, glory and praise for evermore. You are blessed in the temple of your glory. You are blessed on the throne of your kingdom. To you, glory and praise for evermore. You are blessed who gaze into the depths. You are blessed 
in the firmament of heaven. To you, glory and praise for evermore. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. To the Jews who believed in him, Jesus said, If you make my word your home, you will indeed be my disciples. You will learn the truth, and the truth will make you free. They answered, We are descended from Abraham, and we have never been the slaves of anyone. What do you mean, you will be made free? Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, everyone who commits sin is a slave. Now the slave's place in the house is not assured, but the son's place is assured. So if the son makes you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are descended from Abraham, but in spite of that, you want to kill me because nothing I say has penetrated into you. What I, for my part, speak of is what I have seen with my Father. But you put into action the lessons learned from your Father. They repeated, Our Father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would do as Abraham did. As it is, you want to kill me when I tell you the truth, as I have learnt it from God. This is not what Abraham did. What you are doing is what your father does. We were not born of prostitution, they went on. We have one father, God. Jesus answered, If God were your father, you would love me, since I have come here from God. Yes, I have come from him, not that I came because I chose. No, I was sent, and by him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray. Let us pray for all those who work in our supermarkets and food shops and all involved in the food supply chain in the United Kingdom and here in Jersey. Let us thank God for the tireless efforts of so many people to keep food on the shelves of our shops and to ensure that no one goes hungry. We thank God that in their work they are prepared to give up much of the possibility of social, social isolation as they come close to many members of the public day by day putting their own safety to one side for the good of others. And as we pray for them, let us ask that God will bless them in their work and grant them a sense of fulfilment and a sense of true value. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us hold before the Lord all those on our hearts today. For those who have asked us to pray for them.
Pray especially for those who are anxious and distressed at this time, for those who are lonely, for those who are frightened. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's pray for those who are sick, all those many thousands suffering from COVID-19, and all those known to us suffering from many other ailments. We ask that all those who suffer in any way at this time may be filled with the knowledge of the love of the Lord and his abiding presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the souls of those who have departed this life. Pray especially for those who have died recently. And we pray too for those of our own families whom we love but see no longer. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. And finally, let us pray for the life and work of this parish and of the parishes of all who are joining in our worship today. God our Father, through your Holy Spirit, you grow your church as we proclaim the kingdom of your risen Son. Bless us with deepening faith and an increase in our community. Help us to be a beacon of your love to everyone we meet. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Lord, you have given us these gifts to honour your name. 
bless them and let them become a source of health and strength. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. The suffering and death of your Son brought life to the whole world, moving our hearts to praise your glory. The power of the cross reveals your judgment on this world and the kingship of Christ crucified. We praise you, Lord, with all the angels and saints in their song of joy and say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, St. Luke, St. James and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the confidence to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. But thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread 
to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may the mysteries we receive heal us, remove sin from our hearts, and make us grow strong under your constant protection. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.